Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to take a manual blood pressure using the two-step method. In my previous video, I showed you how to take a regular manual blood pressure using the one step, but today we're going to take it a little bit further and do the two-step method. People like to use the two-step method because they feel it's a little bit more accurate. Here I have our patient, which is my husband, who has been so nice to let me take his blood pressure. And what we're going to do is we're going to have him in a sitting position and make sure his arm his upper arm is level with his heart and have his palms turn outward so we can expose and get up to that upper arm. We're going to get our blood pressure cuff. You always want to make sure that it fits your patient because you can get an inaccurate reading if it doesn't fit. The rule of thumb is be sure you can get two fingers underneath the cuff snugly, not loosely, not too tight. So we're going to slide it up his arm and let's feel where the brachial artery is. It's usually in the bend of the arm and on this in the inside and just feel where that is and wherever you feel it put your cuff one to two inches above where you feel it and there's these little arrows on the cuff um, that just helps guide you so we're going to go about right there and always be sure to clip your spigomomanometer up there in your eye in your eye level so you can see what the reading is and there's usually a little spot you can clip it now what we're going to do is we're going to feel with our non-dominant hand the brachial artery and we are going to inflate the cuff until we no longer feel the artery this will be our systolic pressure so let's do that Okay, we're pumping it up and I'm feeling on the artery and I no longer feel it at about the 102 mark. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly deflate the cuff. And when I start to not feel it again, this will be our diastolic. And I quit feeling it at 60 so his pressure is 102 over 60 okay fully deflate the cuff and then we're going to keep the cuff on the patient and wait 30 seconds then we're going to repeat this procedure but we're going to do it with our stethoscope instead of filling for the brachial artery and we'll compare the two so let's wait 30 seconds okay so we've waited 30 seconds now we're going to take the blood pressure using our stethoscope so make sure that you've turned your valve to close so you can blow up the blood pressure cuff and we're going to take our stethoscope diaphragm or bell whichever one you choose and put it over where the brachial artery is and we are going to blow the cuff up 30 millimeters of mercury more than what his systolic was with the last reading so his last reading was 102 systolic so we're going to blow it up to 132. okay we're at 132. Now we're going to slowly release the air about two to three millimeters of mercury until we hear our first noise and I'll let you know. Okay, I heard it at 100. That's our systolic. And it quit at 60. So his blood pressure was 100 over 60. So fully deflate your cuff and let the patient know what their blood pressure was. It was 100 over 60 and take the cuff off the patient. And as you can see, the two-step method is a very reliable method because we got the same estimates. His first one was 102 over 60 and his next one was 100 over 60. So there you go. I hope this helped you out and please look at my other nursing skill videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.